Hi everyone, I'm Armand Hezrakhani, and in this video, we'll go through the workflow of building a hypothetical solution for the Google Developer Student Club's 2021 Solution Challenge. In the previous video, we explored the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals and brainstormed some sample solutions we could build. In this video, we're going to pick one of the sample solutions and together, we'll quickly walk through the journey to building a successful demo. One of the ideas we came up with in the previous video was to develop an elderly-friendly education platform solving for the sustainable development goal number four, quality education. So first, I'll share my initial thoughts with my Google Developer Student Club's members. I'll introduce myself and my strengths, and I'll highlight what types of talents and experience I'm looking for in my prospective team members. For example, Let's say I have solid UI UX abilities, but I need help when building the server side of my application, and I definitely need help leading the team and managing the project. Once I meet with the potential team members and some of us decide to join forces, it's time to do a design sprint. We do this in order to properly define the problem and then come up with possible solutions. For detailed instructions on this step, check out this video series. Once we're done with our design sprint, let's assume we've defined the problem as mobile apps can be too complicated for the elderly and the buttons are too small. And elderly users sometimes find the discovery stage too complicated or find the course tutor style to be too millennial oriented or fast. Also during the design sprint, we define the solution as one, build a platform that supports the niche market of elderly education. Two, the client app should be simple to navigate and has minimal distractions, like notifications or ads. And three, course providers can produce content specifically designed for the elderly, possibly by the elderly, thus providing a revenue stream to a usually underserved demographic. Once we've confirmed it with some potential users, it's time to start designing the user interface. We'll share this load between the team members, but I'll offer to take the lead since I believe I'm good at UX and UI. I'll share my workflow and designs, and the team will go through a few hours of feedback and revisions. This stage can take a day or it can take a week. Don't rush to implement the solution before you're confident you've designed a workflow and functionality that solves the problem you have defined. In our design, there are three user types, the learner, the helper, and the teacher. And my team members are confident we're catering for all user types in the best way considering our specific market. So it's time to design the technology. We've decided to build a progressive web app instead of spending time building both a website and a native Android app. We decided to use Firebase at the backend to serve the course content to our users. At this stage, we'll probably share our thoughts with our teacher or with the DSC lead and ask for their advice on our designs and technology decisions. We'll also ask the DSC lead what workshops we should attend or what code labs we should complete, all in order to be ready for the tasks at hand. Bear in mind, this is just a quick walkthrough of this stage, so be sure to check out my videos on designing the technology or the many resources we have on the website. Next, we will spend the time to build our solution. On our team, we have a couple of members who build the progressive web app and a couple of members who build the server side, front end and back end. You might separate the tasks differently, or you might have less team members. Whatever works for you and your team is fair game. If we get stuck, we'll ask a question on Parthian. Through the Parthian platform, you'll be able to reach out to Google developer experts who are ready to help you with any technical questions you might have. Be sure to visit the platform to receive online support and mentorship while you're working on your project. This part is important. At times, you might get stuck or even dispirited. Getting advice from a world-class expert can really help your team push through and build a great solution. So I encourage you to reach out to the Google developer experts through Parthian. Once we have a beta version, we'll go through some user testing and we'll get feedback. We'll iterate over our code and we'll remove any bugs that we find on the platform. Now that we're close to a great working version of our solution, one or two of our team members will start researching pitching strategies and how we should present our solution in a demo. We'll record a video demo of our app. And finally, we'll warm up our acting chops and prepare an awesome demo 
which will inspire people to use or recommend our app to the prospective demographic of users. And that's it. Wow. That was two to three months of effort compressed into three minutes. Obviously, I'm not suggesting that it'll be this easy or super quick to come up with a winning solution. But if you're passionate about your problem and your solution, and if you use resources provided such as workshops, hackathons, code labs, and the network of Google developer experts through Parthian, you'll have a high chance of developing a solution you will be very, very proud of. So good luck to all of you. Use the resources, and we can't wait to see the awesome solutions you'll come up with.